Yo, have you heard? Here we are at the Rosamont Gifford Zoo with one of our favorite animals, Executive Chef Dan Hudson. These guys throw weddings, corporate events, all these beautiful animals at the AZA accredited zoo taking care of these beautiful creatures. And surprise, Molly is pregnant. So there's gonna be a baby here this fall. Speaking of fall, our man is gonna make an awesome dish here. Tell us about it, babe. So uh, today we're making a curry spice pumpkin bisque. Uh, it's a, one of my favorite soups and uh, should be good for the fall. Where do we start this thing up? All right, so uh, the first thing that we have to do when we're making any kind of soup like this is break down our pumpkin. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is break off the uh, stem, get that out of your way. And then really simply, you just go straight through the center of the pumpkin. One cut. One time. And this is a pie pumpkin, so it's got a little bit of a thicker flesh um, rather than just your regular pumpkin. And then from there, you're gonna take it and scoop out the seeds with a spoon. And then you season it with some salt and pepper on one side. And when you bake this off following the directions, you're gonna cook it the cut side down. So just like that in your oven. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of olive oil and add it into our pan. We got that warmed up. So maybe a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. Um, and then from there, we've got a nice hot pan. We're gonna add in our mirepoix, which is just uh, carrots, celery, and onion. So here we have a pumpkin that we roasted. We roasted that skin side down and you wait until when it comes out of the oven, it's a little deflated. So it's nice and soft and you know it's totally cooked. That's oh, gonna man. go right into our sauteing vegetables. And then Look you can color. go ahead and get rid of that skin. So that's perfect. It breaks apart, starts smelling great. Absolutely. Awesome. And then where uh, the kind of additional flavor makes this a unique dish is comes in the curry powder. And that kind of pops everything, right? It brings these flavors together and adds a different element that it's a regular, boring old basic pumpkin soup. Absolutely, a lot of people like to do pumpkin soups with uh, like cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice, stuff like that. I like curry, it gives it a little bit something different. For sure. So you're gonna add in, again, a little bit of that curry and just kind of let everything toast together for a minute or two. So that smells so good. Once they're cooked through, got that mushy feel going to it, where do we go from there? So from here, uh, this is where you wanna start to add your liquid so that you can kind of start to simmer all those flavors together. I love adding liquids, my man. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna start with some New York State apple cider. Um, and you're, you're gonna wanna add more than you need. So maybe... Cause it'll cook down. It's gonna cook down and you can always add more later and make your and thin your soup out, but you wanna you wanna start with it pretty thick. So maybe about a cup and a half of uh, apple cider. Awesome. And then a little bit of water, because if you do just apple cider, it's gonna taste like just apples. Totally. Uh, next, we're gonna add in some maple syrup just to sweeten the soup up a little bit. A Little bit of cream here. And uh, once that cream gets uh, fully incorporated, we can go ahead and start to puree. Awesome, awesome. And that's it. Wait, wait, you know what though? I know somebody else that likes pumpkins. Let's give them a bite first. All right. Okay, now we can eat. They ate first, let's give it a shot. All right, so here we go. We got our soup, just the right thickness. I adjusted mm. it with a little bit more water. Perfect. And we've got our pumpkin seeds that we roasted from the middle of the pumpkin, so we're using all of it. And then I like to go back just with a little bit of extra cream for the top, just a little color. Yes, beautiful. Cur curried pumpkin bisque. All right, let's do this thing. So balanced. We have one of our favorite animals here, even better, beautiful animals here. And the animals at home, here's to you, Spashcock Funk. <laughs>